Hello everybody, today I wanted to introduce our humble website to you. It's our first swing, first attempt at uh, making a website and it's been up since uh, August this year and I just wanted to show it to you I guess. Starts with the home page as usual, there is uh, nothing unusual here. Just a little information about us, basic hours in admission. Again, we're not open yet. We're in the process of getting our license and certificate of occupancy. So this message will be removed when we open. Some admission details, our services, etc. The second page is uh, fish rescue information. Just general info. <clears throat> and uh, at the bottom there is a list of fish currently available for adoption. We keep it updated. So you have the fishes, uh, the sizes and the fees for the fish that are available to be adopted. Uh, into a properly sized tank and the properly knowledgeable hands. All right, uh, this, the third page is uh, donate sponsor. That's pretty self-explanatory. If anybody wanted to participate in our project and uh, help us out, we will never refuse that. We appreciate it all. We don't ask for anything, but uh, we welcome any kind of help. Uh, if anybody of their own volition and initiative wanted to do that. We don't really ask for uh, donations or, uh, or uh, anything like that because we believe that we must earn everything that uh, we want to have. Therefore, uh, this is just uh, to accommodate people who do want to to donate a sponsor on their own. The fourth page is uh, a bit of a scientific information. We have two big fish databases on this page, something that I've composed uh, about, um, I want to say, six or seven years ago. And uh, the first database is the uh, world's biggest by length freshwater fish from 5 to 27 feet 180 or meter meter to 8 meters in length and it excludes stingrays all right so uh, you can look it over and hopefully you'll find it interesting and educational there are instructions, what, what the colors mean, how they're sorted, and everything. And the second uh, database is uh, the, the world's largest fish, freshwater fish by continent and family. So we begin with uh, European and Asian uh, biggest freshwater fish. These are, these are not sorted by size. So these are carps or carp-like fish, cyprinids. Next up are silurids or catfishes, also Eurasian, of course. Eurasian percheforms or perches. And Eurasian miscellaneous. As far as I know, I think there are no caressins in Europe and Asia, so there is no caressin subsection in here. Then comes South American biggest freshwater fish. Catfish, perches, caressins, and miscellaneous. There are no carps in the uh, South America. Not native anyway. Then there is North America, carp. Again, these are native, nothing invasive or that was artificially introduced. Catfish, perch, and miscellaneous. Africa, same thing. And Australia. 
All right. Next page over is stories of our fish. This is uh, a depository of uh, links to our blogs and vlogs and uh, threads on the forums, journal style threads on the forums where we talk about fish. All the fish stories below are accounts of our own ongoing first-hand experience of keeping these fish. And all the, uh, all the fish are divided into several categories and sub subcategories. So it begins with catfishes, uh, families Siluridae, Euro Euro European and Asian. Then there is Pangasidae from Asia. We continue with the catfishes. Bagrids, catfish bagrids from Asia. Etc. I mean, Pimilodids from South America. Then there will come carps, perches, etc. Anyhow, you, this is a very long page. And uh, you can see there are links to every fish we kept. And th those are more or less journal style write ups. So it's usually, it's not just one or two posts. Hey, we got this fish. This is the size. It's, it's more than that. So if anybody wanted to learn of our firsthand experience of keeping various fish, they can find it on this page. Next one over is a uh, fish tank construction. Again, self-explanatory. Here we talk about how we make our tanks. This is the 10,000 gallon tank that's in progress. That's waiting it's, uh, for the front uh, viewing window. The 1800 gallon, the spliced tank. The 25,000 gallon. The 24500 gallon. And the 10 uh, 240 gallon glass tanks. And there are some older constructions from our prior life below. There is filtration below, etc. Next page over is how it all started and pavilion construction. So here we're showing you how we started uh, keeping fish and why and how it progressed. Uh, we don't have that much experience. We've only been keeping fish um, I'd say in earnest for the last uh, 13, 14 years. So we don't have that much experience under our belt, but we've been keeping fish, a lot of fish, and uh, trying to learn as much as possible as quickly as possible. Anyhow, this is some uh, prehistory of it, and then uh, this is all going to be followed by, by pavilion construction. Aerial shots of uh, our property. That's one pavilion. That's the second pavilion. That's our main house. This is a studio house. And then uh, the main pavilion construction, which we started in uh, February 2012. And it was finished and passed inspection in uh, 2013. Then there's a second pavilion and, at, and uh, Hurricane Irma that delayed us by a year and a half and other details. There is a contact page where you can find how to contact us, of course. This is me and my lovely wife, Victor and Irina, our cell, our email, our address, and the links on the, on the social media forums and the YouTube channel. Okay, and uh, the last three pages are just uh, complimentary. This is uh, the yard is canvas and house is canvas too, describes a couple of our art projects. We do some art as well. Yard is the canvas. I mean, you, you can sc scroll and look th through <clears throat> to see our creation. 
our yard there is a lot of a lot of photos here I mean a ton of photos and the house is canvas as well you, you can see the indoor projects that we what, that we have like this uh, bathroom that that's fully that's fully decorated um, etc and we conclude with the imagery uh, acknowledgments the fish photography by our dear Indian peer and and friend Gibran Sharif also by our friend Denis Kandakov and also by us so that's pretty much it okay I hope you will find it useful especially the database the stories of our fish, the tank construction, those are the pages that uh, you may find the most useful. Then the fish rescue, there is a fish available for adoption list um, that you can always find there, it's always updated. And you can, uh, you can home our fish if you have a large enough tank and uh, enough knowledge and experience. Those are the two requirements that we ask of people before we let them adopt our fish. We don't adopt to everybody who just pays the, the fee. That's not how it works. We do not want... These fish were rescued from, from uh, challenging conditions and we do not want to, to go in circles and, and have them exposed again to challenging conditions. So we want to give them a shot at the best life they would have and a forever home. So our, uh, our uh, goal is here to give them a forever home, not just to give away fish to the highest bidder or bidder or to somebody who just pays the fee. Okay, and the home contains all the information that one would need when we open for business and uh, to visit us to see how much the admission is and uh, what costs what, uh, what etc. Anyhow, I think this is it. Thank you guys, as always, for all your support. And uh, seeing as today is December 12, 2021, I wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And uh, we appreciate you all. We appreciate all your views on the YouTube and all your likes and all your comments. We try to answer every comment that... Uh, we feel needs an answer and uh, we try our best here but if we don't meet your expectations we we aim to better ourselves thank you again bye